Good morning. You just gave a presentation at the Hedna uh, LA conference, a keynote speech. It was very interesting. Thank you. Um, you spoke about ha how analytics and occupancy is affecting the U.S. market. The U.S. market is having a, or has had a great year, but there are still some areas of concern. Mm -hmm. um, if I was, uh, well, I was an audience, but what would you like for the audience members to ta take away as three key points for them as part of your from your presentation? Yeah. So number one is that 2018 was the best year ever. Yeah. Sold more rooms than ever. Had more rooms revenue than ever. Highest occupancy in rep forever. So we are at record level, and that means then that growth is going to slow. So the first takeaway is 2018 was a record year. 2019, second takeaway is 2019, 2020 are still going to be good years, but they're not going to be that great because growth is slowing. And then lastly, third takeaway that's really about profit margins. So we're going to drive ADR, we're going to drive room rate a little bit, but unfortunately our costs are really going to come up, specifically labor cost mm. is going to grow rather quickly. And we, if we don't keep an eye on the difference between how we grow our revenue and we grow our expenses, that obviously impacts profitability. Right, right. You also mentioned that um, for, for 2018 it was a great year for the US market, but it also showed that incoming uh, visitations mm -hmm. slowed. Do you think that the current political climate is impacting that or is uh, are there other aspects mm -hmm. to that? Yes, yeah, so I want to be clear, it, it didn't slow, it's just the growth is not quite as robust as it is for countries around the world. So we see a lot more long haul travelers and the US is just losing share. So they're growing, uh, the number of people are coming into the US, it's just not growing as quickly. Right, right. Why is that? I think a couple of reasons. Number one is there's a lot of turmoil around the world and that makes the US dollar sort of the, the, the currency of choice. So the US dollar gets more expensive, which means uh, 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 vacations to America get more expensive. That probably has an effect. The other one, the, the other piece I think that is real is the rhetoric from the administration. It's just not very welcoming mm -hmm. right now. And I think a lot of people are saying, well, if I can go to other countries that really want my dollars or, or, or my euros or my yen, what have you, you know, I'd rather go there. Sure, sure. And just finally, um, you also s highlighted the fact that the, the, the luxury market and mm -hmm. the budget market mm -hmm. are actually doing very, very well. Yep. Mid-scale is kind of suffering because mm -hmm. of that. Makes sense. How do you see uh, that dynamic continuing? Is it going to stay like that? You also mentioned that I think it was 70% of the development is mm -hmm. in the, the budget sector. Is in the limited service sector. Limited service sector. So that says to me it's going to stick around for a bit longer yet. Yeah, so on the luxury side, you'll be fine because there's no competition. Yeah. In the limited service sector, you open your back door and there are cranes and they're building competitors. So right. that's going to be really, really hard. And the economy sector, I think, is going to be fine just because we're actually imploding yeah. economy hotels. Yeah. So I think what we're seeing in 2018 is probably going to be worse in 2019 and 2020. Yeah. So if I was operating a mid-scale hotel or a mid-range, what would be some considerations that I might like to think about? you really have to watch your expense growth because there's not a whole lot of ADR growth, of room rate growth. You really have to watch what you're spending. Mm, okay, great. Yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks, Bye-bye.